Welcome. Today we'll discuss how to optimize Moodle course completion settings to make your courses flexible and easy to manage. Let's dive in. The goal of most course authors, especially authors of corporate compliance training, is to make the courses relevant for as long as possible, even if new versions need to be made. The last thing you want to do is to create an entirely new course every time you have to add, delete, or update material. After all, the more iterations of a course you create, the more reports you have to manage to see who's completed your training. The mistake that causes this headache is checking too many activities in the course completion settings. Let me show you what I mean. First, let's examine our current course completion settings. In this course, we have an excessive number of activities checked for course completion. If I want to get rid of one of these activities in the future because it's no longer relevant or I want to add an additional activity, I'm required to unlock the completion settings, check or uncheck the appropriate boxes, and then save the new settings. Many people don't know, however, that unlocking the completion settings removes the course completion date from every user in the course. Saving the new settings forces Moodle to recalculate the completion based on the new criteria and now all of your users have a brand new completion date, which is today's date. Congratulations, you just lost potentially years of completion data. Worse, if you added new material into the course, all of those users who previously completed the course are now incomplete again and need to retake it. Here's a more flexible way to set up your courses. Select one or two activities to be used as course completion requirements, and then make extensive use of activity restrictions to prevent students from getting to these activities until all the other course material has been completed. In this course, I'm going to select only the summative exam and the course feedback activity. Then, I'm going to ensure that restrictions are placed on all of the other activities so that users must finish all the material before they get to the activities that I have designated for course completion. We call this use of activity restrictions gating your course material. And I'll leave a link to the Moodle documentation for activity restrictions in the description below if you want to read more about it. This approach offers two advantages. First, you can easily adjust or update the course in the future without altering any of the course completion settings. For example, you can delete or add new activities without changing the completion criteria. Second, when updating courses, there's no need to unlock and save the completion settings, which would otherwise change the completion dates for all participants. By implementing these strategies, you're going to create a more flexible Moodle course that can be easily updated without disrupting course completion settings. This will save you time and make managing your courses more efficient. Thanks for watching, and I hope these tips will be helpful to enhance your Moodle course experience.